all right guys so there's another random video uh, a couple updates for you guys okay i'm actually starting to work in the interior as you can see i uh, fixed these storage nets they're really nice right now okay right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unbolt this seat but i'm not gonna take the seat out because it's raining i don't want to yeah, I don't want the seat to get wet and stuff like that. So I'm gonna bolt four bolts. I'm gonna move the seat forward and then I'm gonna work underneath the seat. I'm gonna preserve the floors and everything, check for rust and stuff like that, okay? So that's gonna be the a really important thing right now. All right, so I'm just removing these uh, bolts right now from the front of the seat. Then I'm gonna move the seat forward. And there's actually a connector you have to disconnect. Um, that's for the seat belt and uh, yeah i'm gonna remove these remove the move the seat forward remove the rear ones and slide the seat forward so i can have space in there and then i'm gonna work on the floor preserve it clean it and do all that stuff i'm gonna lubricate uh, the mechanism on the bottom and the tracks of the seat as well it's really important okay all right so i just moved this seat forward and right now we're gonna remove those uh, mounts and you know everything is great here with these floors everything is amazing uh, so i'm gonna preserve everything here clean it all up clean the carpets i have a carpet cleaner make it all good and nice there he is hell yeah nice new one huh so yeah so give you tools you gotta loosen this up okay mm -hmm. this bolt and nut and then on the bottom uh, there's another one similar to this and there looks there appears to be uh, like a tensioner and then once you do that this um this will tighten up this belt right here so you're probably gonna need the jack seems to be yeah and then uh, sweet. so no so do this just uh uh, park your car like next to mine right there and let's get it done okay just move the tools and just park it there and then i got the jack over there too you hear that thing squeaking this belt is loose so we will we will go ahead and tighten that belt yeah that's perfect okay so we have it jacked up and i show them what to do He's got my tools. He's gonna try to tighten that belt so it doesn't squeak anymore. Looks like you need new tires too in the front. Yeah. Or at least do the tire rotation. That's what you need because the, the backs are good. All right, you got the uh, wrench? Yeah, it's, uh, everything is here. This whole area is getting cleaned up nicely before we actually uh, preserve this thing with wheel bearing grease and fluid film also some fluid film right there and then I can reinstall this trim okay so I start uh, preserving everything here all these and I actually started peeling these carpets and then fluid filming everything underneath them Making sure everything is good. Start fluid filming the cross member right there. And then this seat mount, everything underneath there. Uh, then also some stuff um, under this carpet right there. It's all uh, fluid filmed, okay? And then uh, it's amazing, okay? Start cleaning the seat. I'm about to grease up these tracks for the seat to make sure that everything moves nice and smooth. And then I'll be excited to put these uh, floor mats back on finally. It's great stuff. And then also uh, fluid filmed some stuff right there under this uh, plastic covering. Okay, good stuff. How's it going? Yeah, I think that maybe you wanna you wanna remove this splash shield better or no? What do you think? Is it in the way? I think, yeah, I can take it off. Okay, what do you, do you know what tools you need? Uh, I can give it to you. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. It's actually late because 
Uh, I had to help some people out, so people came with their cars, so it's pretty funny. But anyways, uh, this is, I just wanted to show you, okay, this is the seat right there. I just tilted it, and then I sprayed a bunch of ATF and some grease onto the tracks and everything, okay. And also some stuff right there and some grease all right so and then also spray a bunch of fluid film in there so this thing will be amazing it will be protected and everything it's pretty good and right now i'm also gonna fluid film this cross member okay i'm gonna spray fluid film inside from different angles and stuff like that really good stuff all right guys all right everything is nicely fluid filmed the cross member also inside the cross member was fluid filmed some auto automatic transmission fluid down there on the floor mm, that's okay uh good stuff guys everything is this car is receiving so much preservation and love it's just amazing i'm really happy about that i'm about to reinstall the seat let's clean some more of these carpets and that's it it's gonna be great All right, so we're getting closer. I'm cleaning this area up right now. And what I'm doing is I'm doing maintenance on this fuel pedal mount right there. Uh, there was a little bit of surf surface rust. So I, I removed all that we're with wire wheel primer, painted it. And then uh, after I let it dry, I put grease on there and fluid film. And I also lubricated this right there where this uh, shaft is. So it's gonna be nice and good. Now I can just go ahead uh, and reinstall this bad boy. It's pretty simple. Okay, just goes right into that uh, mount like this. All right, it's in. And now I'll just have to install this pin right here. Okay, it just goes right in the middle. And that is it, guys.